This video will demonstrate the Class 3 air brake run up and fan down procedure for the Alberta air brake program on any Class 3 air brake equipped vehicle. So we start the procedure, make sure the vehicle is on flat ground and the wheels are chalked. Next you want to make sure you're at cutout pressure, 120 to 135. So we'll start the vehicle up. Okay, the build pressure, anytime you're building air for the air brake program or the procedure, set your RPMs at 1200. That gets the most out of your compressor. We're gonna watch the gauges. Okay, and it just purged, so we're at cutout pressure, 120 to 135. So next step is to idle the engine down. Turn the engine off. Put the key back to the on position because we need power to the gauges for the electronics to work. Next step is we're going to release the park brake. We're going to push in the yellow button. From there I need to get rid of the air in the system. So I'm going to start pumping the brake pedal to make the lower warning come on by a minimum 60 PSI. Could come on higher but no less than 60 which will be a visual and an audible signal. Okay, there's our low air warning. It's come on above 60, so it's good. Now I'm gonna keep pumping the brake pedal to make the yellow button pop between 20 and 45 PSI. Okay, so the yellow button has popped and it's popped at 30 PSI on the secondary so it passes. All right, next step is we're going to test the supply circuit which is the compressor and the governor. So we'll start the engine up, set the RPMs to 1200. Then we'll watch the gauges. When the first gauge hits 50 PSI, we'll start timing and stop timing when the last gauge hits 90. Okay, so primary is at 50 now, we'll start timing. Lower winding has gone out at the same pressure it came on at. Most trucks you can use your cruise control setting for your 1200, but for some reason this truck won't let me do it, so I'm using my foot on the gas pedal and holding it at 1200. Okay, there's 90 PSI, so that took a minute and 10 seconds, so it's well under three minutes, so our compressor tests out, it's good. Now we're gonna keep building pressure to cut out, 120 to 135 and move on to the governor check.
All right, there's our purge. We are at cutout. Now to test the governor, what we're going to do is we need to lose 20 to 25 PSI in the system. So the fastest way to get that drop, because the wheels are chalked, is we're going to push in the yellow button, release the park brake. That should give you about a 10 to 15 PSI drop. And then we'll pump the brake a couple times, just to get it down to about 90. That should cut the governor, could should cut the compressor back in. Then we set the RPMs at 1200 and watch the gauges. If the pressure starts to rise, our governor cut in is good. Okay, pressure's rising, so governor cut in has taken place. Now we'll build up the cutout. So just to help clarify, what the government wants you to understand is that to check the governor properly, you test the governor's ability to cut out, cut in, and cut out again. There is no time limit for this 90 to cut out. All right, there's our cutout. Air dryer's purged. So now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is known as an air system leak check. So to do this, we're gonna idle the engine down, turn the engine off, put the key back into the on position. To do an air system leak check, we're gonna make a full brake application to pressurize the, the system. Once the gauges stop dropping, we would start timing here and we're gonna hold this for two minutes. And in two minutes, we can't lose more than four PSI for the unit. So make sure this is a firm brake application. Two minutes is a long time. It starts to burn about 20 seconds in. So after two minutes, you shouldn't lose more than four PSI or any. If your system is sealed, once the gauge is stabilized, there should be no drop in pressure. Okay, so two minutes later. Pressure hasn't dropped. We've held it for two minutes. It checks out. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to brake adjustment. So we're gonna start the unit up. We're gonna build it back to cut out, 120 to 135. Okay, there's our cutout, air dryer is purged. Now to do our brake adjustment, what we need to do is we need to reset the automatic slack adjusters through using the brakes, the lining starts to wear down. That increases the gap between the lining and the drum. So to reset that, we're gonna make two firm, three second long hard brake applications to reset the automatic slack adjusters. So I'm gonna step on the brake really hard Hold for three seconds and release. Pause, repeat. Now the top gauge, top PSI gauge is your brake application gauge. So these have to be 90 to 100 PSI on the brake pedal for them to work. So that should reset the automatic slack adjusters if they're out of adjustment. The only way to really verify is to go down and physically pull on each slack adjuster with a pry bar and check for uh, an optimum half inch of push rod travel coming out of the brake chamber at each wheel. So we're gonna do that next. 
So that pretty much concludes the air brake procedure. The final thing to be to do would be to uh, release the park brake while pull your wheel chocks uh, after you set your park brake and do a roll test, which is just simply driving the vehicle ahead five or 10 feet, making a nice smooth brake application to stop the vehicle to uh, confirm that all the brakes are uh, responding properly. So what we'll do now is we'll set the park brake, we'll open the hood, and we'll show you how to check the slack adjuster. And that concludes the air brake procedure. So my actual air brake procedure is done. Now I'm just gonna verify my brake adjustment. So to do this, we're just gonna open the hood and we're just gonna show you what to check for on your front slack adjusters. You would do this check on every set of wheels, but these are the easiest ones to access right now for this check. So here we have the brake chamber. So you take your pry bar, I got a screwdriver here. And all you're gonna do is pry back and you're looking for an optimum half inch of push rod travel to come out of the chamber. Okay, so this one here does have a factory marking on it. That red line, that's your factory marking for your push rod measurement. Uh, a lot of trucks will have poker chips, round discs that go on the push rod. That's just to help you with a with a approximate uh, guesstimate of brake adjustment there. Okay. So this side here, put your pry bar in here. Pry back. And we got an optimum half inch push rod travel. So that brake is an adjustment. Hope this helped you out. Now we'll move on to the next video, which will be the actual walk around inspection.